This is the new Park Zone Bezerschmidt BF-109. Most notable for the BF-109 is the three-blade propeller with a really cool spinner on the front. Other features of this plane which are really cool are the realistic look, the paint job, some air scoops, and a functional uh, air scoop to cool off the electric motor. Really large wheels which would be great in case we do a grass landing or takeoff. Inside we've mounted our Flight Max 2200 battery LiPo. Uh, fit in there just perfectly without modification. You'll also notice we're using Traxxas style connectors. We got these from Hobby King in a big bag. Uh, slight modifications to actually make them work right. Little filing on the ends. Uh, we also use a glue gun to uh, melt in and around to hold the leads tight so they're not wiggling around. Works out to be a really great connector with a large surface area so it doesn't they don't heat up. So we've got our DX7 controller already set for the BF-109. So we've got our DX7 controller already programmed for this model and we're going to plug in using our Traxxas style connectors. There's confirmation that we're bound. We'll let you check out this. This is one big engine on this big motor. Uh, we were nervous that the uh, tri-blade propeller would vibrate. This is surprisingly smooth, especially compared to what we're used to. The tri-blade on the Corsair is real, real off-balance and it vibrates, we don't even use that. We have a really big tail wheel, which will again be real interesting when we get out to the, uh, the airfield. And if you note, the uh, elevator is mounted real high on the tail, which is unique to the Park Zone models. And the uh, first time we've ever flown with this, we'll be flying with this one. The servos come already attached and uh, to the uh, ailerons, and they've got a really large surface area, so it should do some uh, aerobatics really easily once we get this up in the air. There's spots on the underside of the wing where you can put additional servos and then cut the ailerons to make uh, flaps. You, it already comes with control rods. All you have to do is buy the extra servos and a wire kit and uh, you're good to have flaps. The wheels are really large. We're excited to uh, try these out on the uh, rough terrain we normally fly on and it uh, gives a really good look that uh, we have retracts even though we really don't. It's going to be a cool plane to fly. The canopy on this plane is really well molded. It just grabs in and it holds real tight so it's not sliding side to side. It's a good design, a little bit heftier than we're used to as compared to the Corsair. The Corsair is in for repairs. Uh, we grabbed it off the workbench to uh, show the scale compared to the BF-109. You can see uh, prop to prop. The uh, BF-109's got more surface area on the propeller blades. Uh, we're hoping that the spinner will take the abuse that the uh, Corsair has when we've had some accidents. and. Uh, the wings are going to be a little bit more like a mid-wing plane rather than a low wing, so hopefully its handling is going to be better. We like the Corsair just because of the history behind it. Even though it's a more difficult plane to fly, hopefully the BF-109 Messerschmitt is uh, a little more forgiving in uh, varying weather conditions and wind than the uh, Corsair was. And uh, we'll be allowed to fly both of them now.